medical coverage. This is News 10 at 530. More women are dying in Michigan from issues related to pregnancy. Good evening, I'm Ann Emmerich. David is off tonight. Health officials are sounding the alarm about this disturbing trend. News 10's Tonight Jordan is here now with what you need to know. Hi Ann. Every year in Michigan, there are between 80 and 90 maternal deaths. According to the medical experts, that number can be lower as more than 80% of maternal deaths are preventable. We noticed around 2010, 2011, those rates started going back up and we worry about them and we're very concerned. It all leads back to a lack of prenatal education. That's what Dr. Brian Tesler says is causing an increase of pregnancy related deaths here in mid Michigan. According to the state's maternal mortality surveillance, in 2011, there were just over 17 pregnancy related deaths for every 100,000 births. That number spiked to 43 in 2020. Access issues is a huge problem. Um, I was taking care of pregnant patients and a pregnant patient myself. Maternal fetal medicine specialist at UM Health Sparrow, Abigail Ramsire, is a mother of two. I had preeclampsia with my first, and so we watched that closely with my second. She stresses the importance of pre- and postnatal care to avoid life-threatening issues for mom and baby. Identifying depression, anxiety, treating those during pregnancy, identifying worsening of symptoms in the postpartum period. Tesler says prenatal education started declining during COVID, and it's causing more moms and babies to die, either during pregnancy, while giving birth, or within a year after the end of a pregnancy. So not getting those um, patients that are pregnant, that care and understanding of nutrition, uh, taking folic acid and the importance of those things during pregnancy. And if you're not getting that prenatal care, we know that's a big part of not having a healthy new baby. The state of Michigan now provides 12 months of postpartum Medicaid coverage through the Healthy Moms, Healthy Babies program. Coverage is available regardless of income changes. It covers physical and behavioral health, dental care, substance use treatment, and more. And back to you. Thank you, Tanaya. We do have a list of resources for parents to be. Just head over to our website, WILX.com. A new study shows extreme heat is impacting millions of pregnancies across the nation. Researchers found four or more days of extreme heat could cause premature births. Now that is a delivery at less than 37 weeks. Experts say more research needs to be done but for now, they say women can take steps to reduce heat-related complications during their pregnancy. Well, it is a lot nicer to be outside today, and Andy Provenzano is taking advantage of it. He joins us live from the weather patio. 